मोगाळ भयणी भावानो आयज बागेवन फ्रांसिस्क शावेराच्या नोवेनाचो सव्व दीस आयचो विषय जेजूच्या पावलांनी बागेवन फ्रांसिस्क शावेरा भाषेन समुदायांत मिसांव फुडें उरिये बागेवन फ्रांसिस्क शावेरान वेगवेगळ्या समुदायांनी वचून मिसांवाचो वावर आपलो फुडें व्हेलो आणि आम्ही आमच्या समुदायांनी होच मिसांवाचो वावर फुडें व्हरून तो आमकां उत्तेजन दिता तर कोण भाषेन हे जेजूचे मिसांव आमच्या समुदायांनी आम्ही फुडें व्हरतले मिसांव भावार्थ परगडपाचे मिसांव बरवासो दिवपाचे आणि मिसांव एकचार घडपाचे मोगाळ भयणी भावानो In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, 
All of us are born in a family. Family is a cradle of a small Christian community. The small Christian community is a tool in which in turn helps us to grow in charity and practice service to others. Thus, it leads us into a spiritual experience and becomes a weapon to grow in holiness. Today's theme therefore states, following Jesus like St. Francis Xavier through participation in small Christian communities. St. Francis Xavier, through his life and example, lived, preached, and proclaimed the kingdom of Christ. With a burning zeal of proclaiming Christ, he preached vociferously in Goa and other parts of India and Asia. He worked hard to build the kingdom of Christ through basic Christian communities for whom he gave the utmost importance. As followers of Christ, taking inspiration from Francis Xavier, our Goizo Saib, let us take forward the mission of Christ by walking in his footsteps. Keeping in mind our theme today, we may recall our failures and our sinfulness relating to our family and our Christian community in the vicinity we stay from, in, and the parish we belong to. Who doesn't fail? So I would like to ask pardon on behalf of all the daddies and the fathers of families. For the times they might have been harsh, they might have been negligent, unlike St. Joseph of the Holy Family. For sometimes the hard words they have spoken to their wives and their spouses, we ask pardon. In deep humility, I'd like to ask pardon on behalf of all mothers of families. Try as they do, having given birth to children, looked after them, under pressure sometimes they fail in words, in deeds. Some harsh statement, some wrong teaching to the children, the inability to correct and bring them on the right path. For these failures, I would like to ask pardon on behalf of mothers and mums. And we the children, whatever age we are, the smaller we are, the young life we belong to, we also fail in response and respect to our parents. Unlike Jesus, who lived in close obedience and under their authority, so many of our young people fail. The wrong ways of life we ask pardon the overwhelming time they seem to be spending on their instruments these days, for clandestinely and secretly watching and looking at what is undesirable to the eyes and to the heart, being led to a wrong way of life. We ask pardon. And so, my dear friends, sisters and brothers, if you like, you can close your eyes and bow your heads as you ask pardon for yourself. Cause me to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause me to drink at the high river, O Lord. Cause me to live in the high river, O Lord. Cause me to come, cause me to drink, cause me to live. And Jesus said, come to the waters and stand by my side. I know you are weary, you won't be denied. I saw every teardrop when in darkness you cried. And I strove to remind you that for your sins I died. 
Cause us to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause us to drink at the high river, O Lord. Cause us to live in the high river, O Lord. Cause us to come, cause us to drink, cause us to live. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the girdle of his waist, and faithfulness the girdle of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall feed, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The sucking child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse, the root of Jesse shall stand as an ensign to the peoples. Him shall the nations seek, and his dwellings shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Let our response be. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. Our response, in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Our response, justice flourish and peace till the moon fails. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. 
he will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. Our response, in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Our response, in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon flays. Kindly arise for the gospel acclamation. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. In that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank thee, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to babes. Yeah, Father, for such was thy glorious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son choose, chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, or to hear what you hear and did not hear it. This is the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the great English writer, poet, and priest, John Donne, is remembered for his uh, famous statements, for whom the bells toll and no man is an island. What John Donne simply says is this, that we are all interconnected. We are related to each other. We are not isolated from the rest of the world as like an island. No man is an island. And he says, when somebody dies, do not ask for whom the bells toll. They toll for you. Because when someone dies, a part of me dies. Because I am related. Yes, my dear friends, that is what our faith teaches us. We are told that we are made in the likeness 
and the image of God. And as we have heard in the gospel today, God present him, presents himself to us as a community. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If we are made in the image and the likeness of God, who is a community, then we are a community. In the Old Testament, we hear God say, it is not good for a man to be alone. In other words, he needs to be in a relationship. When Jesus taught his disciples the prayer, he said, call God our Father. That means we are all brothers and sisters. God is our Father. In his teachings, Jesus says, love your neighbor. Your neighbor is your brother, your sister. In one of his writings, St. Paul says to us, bear with each other's burdens. Reach out to them because they are your brothers, your sisters. Yes, my dear friends, we are all a community. We are all related to each other. And as a, a community, we are called to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. It is only in and through a community that we live and grow. Outside the community, we die. Perhaps you have heard this well-known story often. The priest had built a new and a larger church for his congregation. He wanted all his people to come as, and worship as a community, to live as a community. But he realized that there was this young man who did not participate in community life. So one day, he went to meet him one winter evening. The young man welcomed him. They sat near a fireplace having a cup of tea and talking to each other. And as they were talking, the priest said to him, John, I do not see you participating in community life. And John said to him, Father, you know I am a simple man. I live a simple life. I do not hurt anyone. I do charity, and I pray at home. The priest got up, went to the fireplace, took a small log from there, and kept it aside, and continued the conversation. And as they were speaking, the fire of this log went out. And the priest said to this young man, John, do you notice the fire has gone out of that log? While all the other logs in the fire continue to burn brightly. And John caught the message. It is only together that we can keep the fire of love, of charity, of justice burning. Cut off from the community, we slowly die. Yes, my dear friends, we all need a community. Many years ago, I read an article, and the very first lines of this article were, the road to heaven passes through my neighborhood. The road to heaven passes through the neighborhood. 
we all need each other on our journey to God. We are human beings. We need others to affirm us, to appreciate us, to tell us the good things that we do. There are dark areas of our life we ourselves often do not see. And so we need others to tell us the wrong things that we do. That is life, and that is how we grow, how we grow as a community. Many of you are familiar with uh, a prayer method we call in our small Christian communities the seven-step method or the Lumco method. And the fifth step of this prayer method is the social dimension of our community life, which we very often forget. It is a step that calls us to live our faith in action, to be a witness of our faith in action. I remember many years ago in one of the community, community, communities in Mumbai, many a home were destroyed and ruined because of alcohol and gambling. And so the women of, these, of this place got together and said, we must do something about this. And together they fought to close down all the bars, to shut all the gambling dens. And they succeeded. They succeeded because they fought together as a community. Today, my dear friends, as we come to honor St. Francis Xavier, we honor him by living the life that he, he lived, a life of justice. St. Francis Xavier formed small communities community of believers, whether in Goa, Taminad, Macau, or other places. He fought his own Portuguese officials who were corrupt and unjust. And he calls us today to fight against the wrong that we see in our society. What do we see? In our own beloved land, Goa, one of the most beautiful places on earth, the land which St. Francis Xavier made his home while he lived, even though for a brief while and forever in death. Today, Goa has become a den of drugs, a center of evil activities. Our seas, our rivers are polluted. We hear of noise pollution, especially in coastal areas. We see our hills and our mountains destroyed. We see degradation of human life and environment. And what do we do? We are called as a community to fight against evil, against injustice and immorality that we see around us. And that, my dear friends, is a noble calling, calling to follow Jesus in small Christian communities, small faith communities irrespective of our faith, to come together to fight against evil. And it is only then, when we come together and live together as community, will, be, will we be true to our calling to follow Jesus Christ, like St. Francis Xavier, in his footsteps. Through the intercession of our patron, 
St. Francis Xavier, let us pray that all of us may be true to our calling. Amen. May we all rise, please, and prepare ourselves to present our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Using spiritual exercise as a weapon for renewal and prayer for our Pope, Bishop, religious and committed people, that they may reflect on their spiritual life and through prayer and spiritual exercises, renew their commitment to the communities entrusted to their care. For this grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Leadership of SECs, not to dominate, but rather animate, encourage, and acknowledge for our political and social leaders, that they may selflessly work for the upliftment and betterment of the communities and goodness of the society without any caste and creed. For this grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Francis Xavier's weapon was humility, learning basic language and culture. For the SSCs, that they may use their talents diligently to work together in order to strengthen the faith in the family and society at large, and through the gospel, spreading the kingdom of God. For this grace, let us pray to the Lord. Having human values and talents may be of utmost importance for the SSCs that they may make positive efforts to enter into dialogue of life and action in their neighborhood with people of other faiths by organizing interreligious services, participating in their festivities, organizing talks and seminars. For this grace, let us pray to the Lord. In silence, let us pray for our local and personal needs. O oh God, our Father, these and many other prayers are in our hearts tonight. We ask you to hear the prayers we have uttered and those that are deep down. And if we are deserving, as you decide, O oh Lord, please grant our prayers. O oh Lord, hear us, we pray. O oh Lord, give us your love. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated.
Let us pray, my friends, that your sacrifice and mine may become acceptable to God, our Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm using a prayer option today entitled, Jesus Went About Doing Good. And in his footsteps, St. Francis, our great saint, went about doing good. We are also called to go about doing good. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. You have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters, especially those assembled here tonight. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Unto 
Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, with all the bishops, especially of the dioceses from where we have come to the shrine, priests and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. Pray for someone who you know was here last year and who can't be here because they have gone to their heavenly reward. Brother, father, mother, sister, sibling, parent, grandparent. Think of their names, pray for them at this moment. These, Lord, have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Francis Xavier, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray with great confidence to God in the words Jesus has taught us. Our Father, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Our prayer for peace today is going to concentrate on each member of our family and on all of us who belong to our Christian communities, the small Christian communities. We want peace to reign in our hearts. Close your eyes, bow your heads. His peace he gives to us, his peace he leaves with us, not for us alone, but that we might give it again to everyone. The one who looks for God in the depth of one's heart will find a hidden choir that nothing can disturb, 
Oh, take away his peace he gives to us, his peace he leaves with us. Not for us alone, but that we might give it again to everyone. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ our Lord bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Catholic Dorma Mode, Zani Bautisma so Sonskar Getla, Foko Tanis, Comunio Gung, Fude Sorche, Comunio Sheulio Pran, Tum Chebosker, Tumi Portun Boschi. While we greatly appreciate the presence of members of other religions at this Mass, we would like to remind you that only those who have received baptism in the Catholic Church may kindly come forward to receive Holy Communion. The others are requested to remain seated in prayerful solidarity. Catholic Dharma Made, Chani Baptism Sanskar Gitli Lahe, Tianis Christ Prasad Svikarave. Ve Jinone, Catholic Kalisiame, Baptism Sanskar Grahan Kiahe, Vehi Param Prasad Grahan Karnekele, Agiai. Let us close our eyes and keep a moment of silence. 
Let us experience the presence of Jesus in our hearts. And in the silence of our hearts, let us thank and praise Jesus. Kindly rise. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven, especially in our families and our basic Christian communities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated. We thank Father Xavier Pinto for celebrating the Eucharist and Father James for breaking the word. We also thank those who took charge of the choir for the Mass. Today is the sixth day of the Novena of St. Francis Xavier. The Mass timings for each day of the Novena are as follows. Morning, 6 a.m., 7.15, 8.15, 9.30, 10.30, and evening, 3.45, and 5 p.m. These Masses will be in Konkani, and the Mass at 6 p.m. will be in English language. Those who wish to participate in the Sacrament of Reconciliation or Confession, priests will be available in the Sacristy of Basilica from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Those who wish to offer flowers during the Novena days, kindly give your monetary contribution to the Basilica control room. Please take, care, please take good care of your personal belongings. If anyone finds any lost item, kindly give it to the Basilica control room. In case of any complaint of a missing person, Kindly approach the police control room or basilica control room. Today is the sixth day of the Novena of St. Francis Xavier. During the Novenas, there will be exposition of the Blessed Sacrament in the basilica from morning 5 p.m. to evening 6 p.m. You can spend your time with the Lord there. Every Eucharistic celebration and the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament is streamed live on the St. Francis Xavier official YouTube channel. 30th November, that is tomorrow, is a day dedicated to the priest, religious, and brothers. We shall specially pray for them during the Mass at 3.45 p.m. in the evening. On the 1st of December, kindly note, there won't be 10.30 Mass in the morning. Kindly note, there won't be 10.30 Mass in the morning but instead, there will be inter-religious meeting, which will be followed by a Konkani Mass at 12.30 p.m. Liturgical booklets are for sale with the volunteers, priced at rupees 20. You may collect it from them. Kindly rise for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Your response to each blessing will be Amen. O oh God, bless all the fathers of families. May they, like St. Joseph, be humble and gentle and caring. May they keep before the mind of theirs the will you have for them and their families. May they nurture their families, keep forgiving their families for any mistakes they make. Love them today and all the days of their lives. Amen. God, we ask you to bless all the mothers of families. Like Mary, our mother, may they be humble and gentle in their caring for their children. As they nurture them from babyhood to youth, 
May they inculcate in them the values that are specific to your gospel. As they go through all the inconveniences of being mothers, give them the courage and strength they require, like Mary, to stand by them like she stood by Jesus. Today and all the days of their lives. Amen. Amen. Lord, bless all the children, right from their younger days up to their youth till they get married. May they understand the values of the gospel. May they keep before their minds the need to live and lead lives like Jesus did, so that whatever they do in society may be appreciated and good. And Lord, may they continue in this way, respecting and loving their families, their parents, and society today and all the days of their life. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord. Good Vishal. evening, have a good day, and go home safely. We shall together recite the Novena Prayer of St. Francis Xavier. All together, O devoted servant of God, St. Francis Xavier, your heart was burning with love for Jesus. Impelled by this love, you went from country to country and spent yourself unto death, proclaiming the name of Jesus and the good news of salvation. That is why the Father filled you with glory in heaven and preserved your body from corruption here on earth. Filled with joy for these unique gifts, we join you in praising the Father. And now we ask your intercession for ourselves. Kindly place your personal inter intercessions. Together, we, we ask you to obtain, to obtain for us the fulfillment of these desires, if, if they are pleasing to the Father. Father. And, and for everything together with you, we praise the Father through Jesus in the, the Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. If you find anything or any person suspicious, kindly inform police control room. In the Basilica, we have an art gallery and pilgrimage of the art programs. Kindly visit them if in. in